Where is the sun in its lifetime? Middle age. Halfway through? Is it closer to the end? Well, if you map out the stars <laughs> with the hotter ones toward the left and the brighter ones toward oh, the top, chart. you'll get this famous chart showing a star's life. Our to look at its radiation, because after all, visible light is a form of radiation. It's currently here, where stars spend most of their life. When stars like ours age, they start to run out of hydrogen fuel, causing the core to shrink. This Basically a reactor slowly, ru slowly running out of its fuel. Compression then creates heat and pressure that pushes the outer layer of the stars outward. The difference is... Rather than just simply fizzling out, it tries something desperate. Going into a red giant. Temperatures increase in a desperate bid to reignite something. This red giant is your containment boundary swelling due to excess heat generation. That'll happen to our sun in about 5 billion years. It'll get so big it'll engulf Mercury and Venus, and maybe even Earth. Talk about a Then, in about page. a billion years after that, it'll use up all of its fuel and collapse into a white dwarf. Now at this point it switched its fuel. It's not using proton-proton fusion anymore. They're fusing helium. But helium is a lot more heat intense, and it doesn't last nearly as long. Cooling and dimming over billions more years. We think the sun formed 4.6 billion years ago, so it's about halfway through to becoming a red giant. Yep, middle But age. stars that are much more massive than ours grow into supergiants, and then burst into a supernova. And those do not last nearly as long. We're talking millions instead of billions of years. Behind a neutron star, or a black hole. And at these end phases, it might as well be a hunk of dry cat.